Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to Creative Connections Readings. My name is Jeanne and this is going to be a pick a card reading to see how can you protect yourself. So during the reading, um, we're going to start off with like just a quick like so what you need to protect yourself from perhaps if there is anything and then what you can do to actually protect yourself, okay? <laughs> so as usual, we have four piles to pick from. For pile number one, we have this beautiful bracelet, this beautiful bangle thing with a beautiful stone in the middle there. For pile number two, we have this row of quail or this row of like birds, this row of ducks. For pile number three, we have this clear quartz point, this clear quartz wand. And then for pile number four, we have this Grecian vase, vase thing, also with a stone. This is a real stone. So yes, those are the piles to see how you can protect yourself. Pick your pile and I will see you there. Satnam, pile number one. For those of you who picked this beautiful bangle, this is going to be your reading to see how you can protect yourself. I'm already hearing protect your beauty, pile number one. I'm already hearing protect your, um, your suave is actually also what I'm hearing, okay? So, um... There might be somebody doing some kind of work on your beauty or um, this might be just your own lifestyle. Um, the counselor. Interesting. So this counselor is giving me like a dietitian vibe. This counselor is giving me like, you know, something like that in regards to the beauty energy as well. So maybe you need to protect yourself, pile number one, by changing your lifestyle up a bit. Like I'm getting, yeah, body, mind. You need to, you need to start living a more balanced uh, lifestyle, I feel, pile number one emotions maybe you're somebody that does like some kind of a lot of emotional eating um i'm also i'm also getting this energy of maybe you tend to like overwork yourself and then you you tend to like um like eat a lot of junk food or whatever but you also like tend to do a lot of comfort eating in a sense of like it helps you ground it helps you um like it helps you feel more in your body when things are going like that okay but part number one i feel like um you should be protecting yourself by simply making better lifestyle choices okay i highly recommend that um you go see some kind of a dietitian or maybe a skin technician or um this could even be like mentally okay you should protect yourself mentally by going to see a psychologist or something um, I don't feel necessarily that 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 what you should be doing to protect yourself is any kind of spiritual or magical thing as per now I'm um, like saging. I mean, that's always good and stuff, right? This to me feels more like practical steps within the 3d reality for you pile number one um, The two of air and the body mind both speak of like balance, okay both speak of of, of balance this this and, and the counselor because it's a card of a healer this speaks to me of some sort of a need for balance so yeah once again you just need to look at your um, lifestyle choices the maiden um if you I'm, I'm getting this vibe like if you want to if you want to um savor your beauty as long as possible if you want to savor your youth as long as possible or you want to stave off aging a little bit more um the best thing you can do is is like your lifestyle okay it's, it's what you eat it's what you drink it's your your exercise that kind of things king of pentacles also giving me this lifestyle vibe um like a dietitian a, a personal trainer something like that okay um, I feel like maybe you need to be this for yourself though, right? Like it, not, not everybody can afford to see somebody like that, but like if you just listen to your body pile number one um, That will that will that will put you in a space to to actually um, Do this yourself. You're like you're not gonna need like any kind of somebody telling you do this do this like just listen to your body Okay and once again, like I know this might sound a little bit strange as in like how can you protect yourself? But once again, this is about like protecting your beauty, your youth, your your um like the energy that you carry, you know, like like being a youthful energy, etc. etc. Um and yeah, the best protection is prevention. The best yeah. 
um, King of Hearts as well. I actually wanted to say looking at the counselor because that's a water card. Um, I wanted to say like drink water and now like the, the King the King of Hearts is out as well. So drink water, right? Um, if you have, if you do struggle, uh, pile number one, if you do struggle with some kind of like a mental or emotional instability sometimes like like a bipolar not necessarily to that extent but you know like your mood shifts quite a lot that has a lot to do with your diet okay i can tell you that like because our, our guts is like a second brain and i think like a whole shit ton of like percentage of our serotonin and shit like that is created in our gut okay um so that's important yeah if you suffer from like anxiety or depression um you might feel like you might be under some some kind of spiritual attack pile number one because you are spiritual but no you just need to look at your lifestyle okay you need to increase your intake of water definitely um herbal teas as well okay Eight of Swords. See, this Eight of Swords is giving me a, this this vibe of like like you making the wrong lifestyle choices. So it's a self inflicted thing, right? Why am I make? Why did I make my eyes like that? Like <laughs> Three of Swords. Yeah, this is giving me like comfort eating. Like when when energies are too intense for you. When um. I even feel like even if you were to be like spiritually attacked or something like that, like it's it it, it doesn't really match because like I'm I'm getting this vibe of like yeah you can ground that energy, um you just need to learn to ground it in a more healthy way. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles here, okay? So you know how to Ten of Pentacles, beautiful, beautiful. You know how to ground any kind of like shitty energy being thrown at you anyway, okay, Paul number one. So um. Even if it's just like life happening to you, there's a lot like like I keep being drawn to water, like drink water, right? Um, you might be saying like even maybe just connect with water, you know, like like when you shower, like consciously connect with the water. If if you if you bat if you if if you're in the bath, um, stuff like that, just consciously connect with the water and have it cleanse you. Interesting, interesting. Uh, pile number one, pile number one. Um, I also do want to say because the, the three of fire is, is showing itself twice now, like at the bottom of this deck and, and for the last card in, in this deck, in, in this deck for you. Um, when I saw it, I heard move. You need to move from the place that you're at because like, um, like that's gonna, that's gonna help you save your, your energy as well. Okay. I feel like that the place that you might be currently at is, is some kind of a, I'm hearing a trap or something. <laughs> um, not, nothing to be afraid of, though. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's it's all energetic, right? So that it's just a matter. Like, just be aware of of the devil energy around you. But like, I would say that the most important thing, the most important thing, like, I, I feel like I feel like maybe the, the fact that I'm saying moving is like maybe if you like live in a big city, for instance, maybe the energy is so intense and it's so easy for you to just buy junk food or sweets or whatever, and that you would do that, okay? Or like not exercise or rather take an uber then go for a walk or something like that you know it doesn't have to be this like super intense like um people are out to get you or anything it's just maybe uh, maybe the environment is also not necessarily to your best okay um and maybe you like spend a lot of money on on unnecessary and unhealthy things so that's why maybe god is also saying you maybe you could move maybe you, you know something like that okay um so yeah, I, I think that is it. Maybe just, just just make better lifestyle choices. I also do want to say, I feel like you making better lifestyle choices is also going to assist you in actually... I'm hearing uh, your, your career. Um, it's going to assist you in, in your finances. It's going to assist you because I feel like as you make your lifestyle choices, like your mental and emotional space is going to become more balanced as well. And that is just going to give you more energy to create anyway, you know. Um, it's, and it's like you're going to be, be creating more space for, for finances to flow as well, okay. But this finances, this finances doesn't necessarily feel like money. It, it more feels like a like an overflow of energy, like life force energy. And then from that life force energy, you can ultimately, I guess, create finances if you want to. You get what I'm saying? So thank you so much, Paul number one. Please do consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you again for another reading. Satnam. Bye. Satnam, pile number two, for those of you who picked this.
pile of the of the like quail or the ducks or the they're not chickens though I mean they might be but they I don't know <laughs> um it just gives me like always like this like it, it feels like I have birds that like lay eggs and I have meat but it's like this continue anyway um like an archy thing Pile number two, <laughs> this is going to be your reading to see how can you protect yourself, okay? So, um, whatever, whatever, like, this means, like, just, um, just, just wanted to get that bug out of the way, um, because that feels like an energy, you know? Okay, all, already we, I, I, I pulled two cards. How do you need to protect... I already feel that you need to protect yourself some, from some kind of, like, lack um, mentality, specifically, is what I'm hearing. Um, there might be some kind of... Okay, let's let, let's see. Um, I feel like you might be needing to protect yourself from some kind of lack mentality. We have the five of earth at the bottom of this... Of, at the bottom of the deck, but then we also have the four of water and the four of air. <sighs> How can pile number two protect themselves? This 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 energy is is kind of a little bit like um, koi. Why am I hearing koi? But koi in like a weird way. Pile number two. In order for you to protect yourself, I feel like you need to take a, a long, hard look at yourself. Okay, uh, with the four, not not in a bad way. Just bear with me. Okay, just bear with me. Um, with the, with the four of water and the four of earth, like, a very meticulous, like, study energy here, and this person is, like, looking at themselves, learning to love themselves in the mirror, right? I feel like, I feel like you need to protect yourself by actually taking some sort of, like, affirmative action towards yourself. By that, I mean, like, you need to take some sort of action, um, to, like, b like, for instance, looking at yourself in the mirror, okay, and being like, you know what, I love you, you know what, this is, like, you're important to me, and, like, your dreams are important to me, your goals are important to me, um, how you feel is important to me, that kind of affirmative action, um, I'm getting this sense of almost, like, creating a, that would kind of create some sort of, like, bubble around you, actually, I'm getting a light bubble of love, um, that, that I'm getting will kind of, like, deflect any kind of outside, um, bullshit, but, like, you should know, though, that the, 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 like, bullshit can only affect you, um, if you allow it or not, right? Um, but, but, yeah, I, I feel like you need to take a long, hard look at yourself and take some kind of, like, affirmative action towards yourself, okay? We have the six of balance, ugh, the six of balance, the six of air, the six of, uh, swords... Two again. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Pile number two. I feel like I feel like you're also gonna get some kind of a financial um, reward and award, reward, award. Six of Pentacles, the Jack of Pentacles, both indicating like an offer or a gift. The Ten of Pentacles also in this deck to me, it it, it, it always feels like money falling to me. Okay, there's gonna be some. Okay. There's going to be some kind of situation happening for you, Palm Two. I've been I've been receiving like um some collectives that watch me, some collective that watch me um is about to receive uh, like a, a windfall of money or a lot of abundance or something, right? Um, I feel like this is going to put some sort of a strain on you because um there's going to be a need for you to actually protect that. Like I'm seeing a lot of like anxiety in re in 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 regards to this this um this this abundance coming in um that's also why i feel like you need to protect yourself against this this um poverty or this lack okay it's because not only is is is, is are you going to be anxious as to like okay um like do i deserve this money like like am i going to waste this money um am i am i am i going to going to going to invest it correctly okay so so it's it's those kinds of questions it's those kind of kinds of vibes okay that the anxiety is okay um, I, I just feel like basically you're going to have to bring some sort of a balance to yourself as well, pile number two, in regards to this anxiety that you're feeling with this abundance. Um, and that's not that, like, so it's basically you just protecting your, yourself, you, you, you protecting yourself from yourself kind of vibe, okay? Ace of Wands... Um, yeah, I see you, I see you, like, manifesting yourself out of your anxiety, I see you manifesting yourself out of your lack mentality, because this 
this um, finances is coming in. You're gonna, it's gonna level you up in some way, right? And the only thing you need to protect yourself from is yourself, which is your own lack of consciousness, which is the only thing that can sabotage this energy for you. It's the only thing that can um, ultimately break this thing for you. Okay. Yeah. Ace of Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands. I do see you like like pile number two, you are receiving some kind of money, okay? I also actually wanted to say, like, because I mentioned the birds and the eggs, like it, it always also feels very abundant to me because it feels like I have this continuous um, you know, th like flow of eggs and chicken or whatever, you know, like like symbolically, spiritually, energetically, right? Um so so you're about to receive a whole you you're about to receive some sort of like like big amount of money i'm getting 10 grand like that could like like that's a lot of money like if you put that in rand so but maybe just 10,000 like in my currency 10,000 in your currency whatever you know um and it's going to put you maybe in some kind of like um i'm get i'm getting you know how like you get like a poopal like a, like an anus like when somebody stress it goes like Phew. i'm getting your energy kind of goes like that you're going to be like Phew. what the fuck you know, like almost that kind of energy okay and god is just saying like chill relax you got this the hero yeah you got this um you know what to expect you are the nine of pentacles okay the this the divination card and the nine of pentacles you can you can manage this energy um it truly is just your own energy okay yeah it's your own perception um protect yourself from yourself pile number two that is that is basically the gist of this of this reading you are deserving of this finances. You are deserving of this new beginning of this of this. Like you, you are receiving some kind of finances here. Okay. I'm. I'm also. I'm also. I'm also just just feeling the need to tell you like protect yourself. Like when you get this finances, if it's like if it's like a large enough amount, make sure that that the paperwork is correct. Make sure that you get somebody to help you with it maybe. But I, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's that amount that you need. Like like a person to actually you know just do the paperwork make sure the taxes is done um stuff like that but uh, again like i see you having victory with the six of wands and the hero card so uh, congratulations to you yeah make sure you do the paperwork um, because that's also something that's going to maybe um have you feeling a little bit anxious okay poll number two so menial things that you need to be aware of um yeah Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you for receiving. Please do consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you again for another reading. Satnam. Bye. Satnam pile number three for those of you who pick this beautiful clear quartz stone. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. This is going to be your reading to see how can you protect yourself. How can you protect yourself, part number three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm already getting a vibe of just like become more light, you know, like start singing, start dancing, start expressing yourself. Uh, we have the four of water at the bottom of this deck. Now we have the... Okay, so I'm actually going to be doing it like so, right? Indeed. We have the six of air, the nine of water and the wisdom. Part number three, how can you protect yourself? Um, the reason why I said like sing and dance is because like I feel like you can protect yourself simply by raising your frequency, simply by raising your vibration, by doing things that that you enjoy, by um like this like this rainbow color in the six of areas giving me the vibe of creating. It's it's like being creative, you know. Um, and then this, this nine of hearts is giving me this energy of like a divinity then flowing down and, and, and creating like, like protection and etc 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 Okay. Um, yeah, this, this wisdom card is, is because wisdom is, is a card of completion. Number 10, this wisdom card is giving me exactly that. It's almost like like this 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 masterful energy this mastered energy right part number three um it might be you guys again right with the mastered energy um but you just have the 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 way that you can protect yourself simply is by raising your vibration and that's what i heard um with with the with the clear quartz as well like a higher frequency um by creating by simply living in light um i'm getting a very strong like um 
creator energy here, like creative, like maybe your creativity um, is something that you that you highly prize and that is also something that is something that is very protective in a sense maybe the things that you create um is very magical in 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 in, in that sense okay file number three we have the six of pentacles the nine of pentacles Okay. Um <clears throat> pile number pile number three. I also see how okay, so protect yourself from 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 sharing yourself too much with with people that, that don't deserve you, okay? Protect yourself from from giving to to to, to energies like I'm I'm getting this energy, yeah, exactly. I'm getting this energy of maybe you are like in this way of like you, it doesn't bother you if you if you mingle with with denser energies anymore because you know like eventually you're gonna triumph over it or eventually you're gonna transmute it. But God is saying like so it's kind of the sense of like you know like nothing 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 kills me. It just it just kind of like makes me stronger. Truly that kind of vibe. But God is saying like it's not necessary for you to go through that kind of energy. Like why put yourself through something like that again? Um, so God is also saying like don't don't share your six of pentacles nine of pentacles energy with everybody like um keep that shit close to your close to your heart keep that shit closed up i actually feel this need to tell you pile number three for some reason and this is such a strange energy to come to me uh, uh, for me to come from like god right or or from love but it's say it's it's actually feeling like it's it's telling you to close up a little bit more um keep a little bit more to yourself and now i'm being drawn to the fact that the hearts in this deck has has like a, a um like a crack in in the middle right so so it's like god is saying like um real reel yourself in a bit not as in like you're too much but it's like they're not enough kind of vibe the world is not enough or something like that okay so j be the light you know like just continue creating continue um continue sharing your creations and stuff like that and sharing your wisdom and stuff like that but don't open up to 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 um to people i don't know why it's coming up like this okay um i feel like with the four of wands i feel like it's because god has some sort of like celebration in store for you or planned for you or something like that okay um and like god doesn't want everybody to be yeah god doesn't want everybody to be able to get in um two of two of wands like contracts ace of hearts nine of hearts yeah, yeah, there's some sort of new beginning that God is planning and God doesn't want any kind of um, anything else to be able to get in, okay? And I'm getting the sense of God is saying like, like he loves the fact that you're very forgiving and, 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 and stuff, but yeah, but like, no, <laughs> like that's not... God, like I, I feel like I feel like I'm very I'm asking I'm I'm hearing very specifically you might be very close to God pile number three, um or something like that. well with this wisdom completion for sure in the nine of hearts which is like divine yeah for sure of course you are um pile number three, God is saying um don't don't like close up a little bit more find your find your own um find your balance with yourself keep to yourself. Um, there's, there's, there's some kind of like an energy, excuse me, there's some kind of like an energy that, that you are on the brink of truly releasing, but I'm also getting this almost, excuse me, this energy of something trying to like still kind of force its way into your energy. And that's why God is saying like, you're about to celebrate something. But in order for you to, to avoid this conflict, this, and this feels like jealousy, this feels like pettiness, this feels like, um, I don't know, I'm getting the vision of somebody being like, w w why? And, and the, the, I don't know, somebody else is just like, I just hate you. I don't know why I'm seeing this. Like, what the fuck? But besides the point, like, the energy feels so minute because I feel like most of you are going to choose to um, be in this, in this almost like hermity state for a while, okay? Um, 
I'm hearing two, three months, okay? I mean, if you look at this wisdom card as well, this person seems a little bit hermity, you know? Like, I think this is actually the hermit card in this deck now that I think about it. So, uh, yeah, power pile number three, just, just keep to yourself, you're doing good, keep creating, be creative, you can keep sharing, just, I'm, I'm really being urged to tell you, um, like, keep your heart close to you, you know, like, be sure, um, that, that you are willing to, like, open up your heart, even to a friend or, or family and stuff like that, like, I'm really being told to, to tell you to, like, beware beware your heart space okay uh thank you so much pal number three that was your reading please do consider liking and subscribing and i will see you again for another one satnam bye satnam pal number four for those of you who picked this beautiful like grecian vase thing this is going to be a reading for how can you protect yourself how can you protect yourself? How can you protect yourself? Like, I, I do need to say, I already did get from pile number four. I did get some sort of, like, manipulation, in, energy manipulation. I, specifically, I got magic, and I saw the the, the, this, the card in this deck that usually speaks of magic to me. Uh, but let's see what the cards actually have to say, okay? I also do want to say that you are already protect, protected, and then I heard you are protection. So, let's see what that's about. Why is pile number four protection? <laughs> One more card. I'm I'm actually getting this vibe pile number four that 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 in in like in in the spirit you are some kind of a protective force like in like I'm now I'm getting also angelic. Um, I'm hearing angelic and maybe you just have like a lot of angels around you. So we have the eight of water at the bottom of the deck. We have perception hmm. and the king of earth. So like uh, this is actually like the perception card like uh, look at her wings okay this isn't what somebody would necessarily um convey as like angelic because it's like very dark and very gloomy but this gives me this gives you know how there's like in fantasy realms you have like the light elves and the dark elves this is giving not that the dark elves are evil it's just that they live in the woods and they and they tend to have darker hair and darker eyes you know and and they tend to like be have shadow stuff anyway um that's kind of the vibe i'm getting here palmer for like spiritually you're some kind of like protective force already okay so maybe if 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 you don't feel that way, I feel like you're you're about to you're about to receive some kind of a perception shift actually in the fact that you are this grounded protective force. Um and that you are surrounded by this by these by these by these grounded and protective entities, okay? Um because once again I saw like the stag as well, the stag I'm noticing on the King of Pentacles with the antlers, that's also a very protective symbol, you know. Um Interesting, pile number four, you, the, your message is coming through in a way of like, like, like God wants you to know, or your ancestors, or the angels, your spirit gods, whatever, wants you to know that not only are you protected already, like as, like, a fro with these entities, but you are already, but you are also that, you are also this protection, uh, you, you are... At, at the very least, you're some kind of, like, bridge or messenger of this protective energy um, into this reality, okay? If you are suffering with any kind of, like, illusions, any kind of unknowns and anxieties and stuff like that, God is also just saying that this, that your own perception, okay, you, you, you're, you're the king of earth. You're, like, as stable as can be. There's actually nothing for you to worry about, so... Um, yeah, just look into that. That's the truth with the King of Air here as well, okay? I feel like this perception shift that I was referring to in the beginning is also going to happen fairly soon for you, Pile number four. I'm hearing it's actually happening now for most of you, okay? Three of Pentacles. This is allowing you, King of Pentacles, showing itself again very fast with the Jack of Wands. Uh, this is allowing you to, 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 um... I'm getting the sense, Paul, number four, of, like, you're, you're in some way, like, meant six of wands. Yeah, you're in some way meant to help the world, um, to help humanity, rather, let's say. To help humanity with, um... <sighs> to 
learning how to protect itself, learning how to ground itself, learning how to... Um, the King of Pentacles just flipped as well, okay? Learning how to ultimately embody this powerful, stable, grounded, protected and protective energy. I know, I know it, it feels like I keep repeating myself, but um, your, your energy pile number four feels more like... Um, the energies surrounding you feels like it's the source of the it's the source of protection it's the source of the concept of protection if that makes sense uh we have the three of water here so we have three three <clears throat> um that that three of water is speaking to me of this the spirit world or the spirit the source of, of protection, this community that I'm talking about, the spiritual community or the spiritual, these, spi these spiritual beings surrounding you, but which you also are. Um, Jack of Hearts, Four of, four of Wands. Yeah, I'm, I'm, pile number four, I meant, I, I feel like you are meant to, to, to embody this, this protection. It's not necessarily something that you didn't have to do, um, anything but it's like you're 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 like you didn't have to do like a spell or anything like that um you are meant to, like i think i feel like maybe i picked up on like the magic vibe at the start because maybe you've gone through a lot of of um like spiritual war and stuff like that but that was so that so that you can ultimately come to this realization that you are in some way, an embodiment of protection. I don't know how else to explain this, okay? We have the fourth earth. Yeah, you are like the embodiment of stability or the embodiment of safety or something like that, okay? Healing. Three of earth. Uh, pile number four. So, so once again, it's not necessarily something that... I actually quite like this energy. It feels very clear to me. I just understand... I, I, I do know that it might seem a, a little bit strange or sound a little bit strange. I don't know why, though. Um, but you are, once again, you don't need to do something specific or be something specific because you are actually already, like I said, the embodiment of protection and security, okay? Or you're about to really see this. You're about to, your perception on this is about to be, like, truly illuminated to you, okay? Um, yeah. I want to say spiritual warrior, but it feels more than that. It feels more like a... It feels it, it doesn't feel like a warrior vibe because warriors fight you don't fight you protect like like view view like that's the kind of vibe i'm feeling here okay um like a force field so that's what that, that's what the sound effects in my hand was view, view. um like violet from the incredibles so yeah thank you so much uh pile number four that was your reading please do consider liking and subscribing and i will see you again for another one satnam bye